In a make or break moment for the economy, Joe Biden confidently grabbed the pen and put his signature on the debt ceiling deal. With the nation's financial future hanging in the balance, the impact of this decision echoes through the corridors of power, leaving a lasting impact on America's fiscal future. How in the world did the United States go from one of the most prosperous countries in the world to now facing a crash greater than the Great Depression all thanks to this thing called the debt ceiling? First off, what the heck is a debt ceiling anyway? Basically, it's like a limit on how much money the US government can borrow. The government brings in cash from taxes but spends more on stuff like infrastructure, education, and defense. So they borrow money by issuing bonds to investors. Later on, they pay back the dough with interest. To keep the government from going overboard with debt, they set this ceiling back in 1917. But here's the thing. Lately, the debt ceiling has turned into a political weapon. Republicans have been using it to try and make Democrats give in on spending and other issues. You know how it goes. Now, the US has been spending way more than it earns for ages, and the national debt is a whopping $31.46 trillion. The Treasury Department has been doing some fancy accounting tricks to avoid defaulting on the debt, but those tricks are running out in June. If Congress doesn't raise the ceiling, the government will have to make serious spending cuts or default on its debt. Now, normally, raising the debt ceiling wouldn't be such a big deal for Congress. But as I mentioned, the Republicans and Democrats are in a political showdown. They've been using the debt ceiling as their weapon of choice. But guess what? Time's up, folks. If they don't act fast, the global economy could go into a tailspin, and the US might find itself in a nasty recession. Back in April, the Republicans passed the Limit Save Grow Act. It sounds pretty good, right? It would raise the debt ceiling by $1.5 trillion. But as you can guess, there were some goodies in there for the Republicans, which Joe Biden wasn't thrilled about. The bill would cut government spending by $4.5 trillion over 10 years through policy and interest savings. Naturally, that's not something Joe and the Dems wanted, so he initially refused to negotiate. But hey, with the deadline looming, they had to get their act together. Speaker Kevin McCarthy finally said, all right, let's do this. Phew. This agreement is a huge relief, especially if you want the US economy to survive, because if not, all hell would break loose. Funny thing is, they've raised the debt ceiling 78 times before. I don't get why they waited until the last minute this time. Politics, right? Let's just hope everything turns out okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs>